Good morning, fish heads. Junker Bossy Jekyll Bates. We've got a few pieces to show you. It is the late weekend edition. I just wanted to show you guys what's going out the door um, before it goes out the door. So I'm not gonna take a whole lot of time, but I did wanna mention a couple of things. The next spray session that I'm doing is gonna feature this little man's M7. Um, I thought it was gonna be the perfect bait to go start to finish on because number one, it's a reclaim. Um, this is one of the, I still have some stuff left from Pickwick that uh, a guy was kind enough to, I got a box of like 150 and this was about a year and a half ago. Somebody just sent me reclaim bait so i float tested a bunch of them some of them failed some of them did very well the ones that were salvageable and that are worth repainting i kept so um thanks to and i you know it's been so long i know his first name was jake i cannot remember his last name and i apologize for that but thank you for that that uh wonderful gift from pickwick so i wanted to take one spray session and go start to finish on a bait and go you know get the split rings off of here and i get a lot of questions on if you're refinishing a bait that's uh, in existence that's a brand name and it's kind of like this what steps do you take do you acid wash it do you scrub it down so i'm just gonna go start to finish on this and then we're gonna put a cool little pattern on it and since it's a deep diver i'm not gonna get crazy in the weeds with patterns we're gonna do just a simple match the hatch because the purpose of the video is gonna be more focused on how to restore something to like new or brand new we're not probably gonna be able to get the exact same clarity on the bill but that's okay because there's a lot of things that you can do and the interesting thing about this one this is this is a little um uh, it was specific to this bait and i think that there's a couple more that that employ this but when your split ring is out this completely comes out so then it becomes a question of well do you need to insert this back and super glue it because you want that the one of the reasons the bait's made this way is for how it moves off of that bill in the water because of how this is so i thought this would be a perfect bait to do it should be out by thursday this week i've got a bunch more stuff that i'm working on coming down the pipe for you guys um but this is going to be the next spray session and hopefully it's going to answer a bunch of y'all's questions because i get a lot of questions about how to restore vintage stuff and old baits and reclaim baits and stuff that maybe has been underwater so i this is going to do it this is the first one we're going to show you guys this morning this is a lunker hunt this is the lunker hunt impact it's a small presentation bait um i did almost like a, a dip on and pour type deal that i would do on canvas uh if you notice it's got a lot of almost cells in it but that's just wet on wet paint and i did that to mimic how a shell would look right before it's getting ready to molt and you've got a little bit of veining in that and then of course i got my signature crawl pattern on there as well and i used some pretty fun eyes on it too so just wanted to show you that this is going to be available if anybody's interested in it come hit me up send me a message leave me a comment um it's eventually going to be auctioned if nobody wants it prior to that but it's not going in anybody's order i just um i had it from a mystery tackle box and uh, i think june's mystery tackle box i got this in and it's a great summer great shallow water this is like one to two foot depth max so it's great over grass and in skinny water awesome awesome for late summer the gray ghost because of the color got that red shat dot on it which is basically like a bullseye putting a bullseye on it and it's on this dinger pressing uh, i've gotten a lot of questions because i feature these all the time on hey where do you get that that's a really cool looking bait this wide lip square bill it's a great party crank good shallow water this is a two to five foot and you can get it dingerbaits.com so go go hit up brian um, it is one of his most popular if not his most popular uh, blank that he carries i did a juvenile brook trout um, 
and it's not uh, Gerald Novick was telling me it's not my norm I mean, you guys know that I'm known for my colors and wild baits but I, I can do match the hatch too and I do all the time and I especially I was kicking around the idea of whether or not I wanted to keep this one in particular because this would absolutely slay on the White River and the Spring River um, it's a outstanding match the hatch for young rookies um, even a, even a bow, it would represent a young juvenile rainbow trout, although I specifically did not speckle with black dots on here. Uh, the brooks, you'll see white dots on there occasionally as they grow uh, from fingerlings. So this is on that 100 SP replica pressing. This is a great suspending small presentation jerk bait, twitch bait. The action in it's fantastic. It weighs about 5 sixteenths of an ounce maybe a little bit heavier than that when you've got the gear on it and it's got uh, stainless steel split rings number three and the other question that you guys ask all the time is how do I know what size split rings because they do change Barlow's size three is the same as Shorty's size two so you really have to go by how wide the diameter is and a lot of the times they'll show you in millimeters versus American inches because these things are all made overseas and America is one of the only countries in the world God bless us we hang on to our British standard measurements which are the yards and the feet and the inches and the sectional inches so but go by millimeters and if you guys are having trouble with millimeters to inch conversions if you have a smartphone or if you have a computer or if you have a library nearby you guys can get a conversion chart it's not that difficult to, to work through um, but the most of us now have smartphones you can just punch in uh, inch to millimeter conversions and there's tons of free programs you don't have to download an app or anything it's just there for you and you punch in what you have and it'll come up what you what you want so just a quick little tip for you guys there but yeah, these are uh, a shorty size three millimeter. And then I've got size six KVD Elite short shank trebles on that with that little wide gap. This, this is really cool. This employs Russ Allen's insane custom stencils. And uh, he just I featured it before, but he has sent me uh, some cool stickers, which are, they are insane and I love them. And I also got a recent one from I know I did this in the last one, but from Brotherhood, from Michael Ornstein and Garcia Rosa, thank you guys for the stickers. You guys know that I try and make sure you guys, the stuff, and it's, it, again, a lot of people are like, ah, oh, are you sponsored by these people? You, everything's a plug. It's not, but the places that I trust and I use on a regular basis that I rely on for my baits, um, I also like to make sure that you guys know that I trust and, and love these companies. So, has nothing to do with whether or not I'm sponsored or I'm getting. I'm not, um, but I do think that since I'm a, a teaching mechanism and and a voice for YouTube and the fishing custom fishing stuff, that uh, I'm going to make every effort to let you know where I feel confident and comfortable getting my gear from. So this is one of his stencils it looks really cool as a reverse tiger pattern on this blue and orange and I know I've been telling you guys that I've been trying to come up with different ways to do pro blue and versions and shades and um, I've been having a lot of fun with this and the lipless is a holographic one of the most frequently asked uh, questions I get from customers that are non-painters is what is holographic? Well, basically, that's what most of the companies call their pre-foiled baits. That means that there's already that shiny prism image that's been uh, applied to the blank before it's sold as a blank. And this is just one of those. So if you see on people's websites, they're selling either blanks that are holographic or foiled. That's what that means. So I just, I used an X-Acto knife to do a little extra carving in the face just to lightly scrape off the dark blue paint to let that, uh, let that holographic prism image shine. And I like the way it turned out on this bait. This is a fun stencil and it was just a cool way to address something that's, uh, that's a normal, it's, you know, just, just thinking out of the box. And these colors are tried and true. It's the same as you would see on Pro Blue, but we just kicked it up a notch. We tricked out the bait, as you were. 
I've got a wildfire shad on here and this is just a it's a black base coat that's got that wire mesh ribbon on it and then your fire colors your your neon fluorescent colors of orange yellow and green obviously when you blend the yellow into the green when both paints are wet you get that really cool chartreuse blend and you get that real cool orange yellow sunset color on the bottom as you blend those up and I always like doing colors like this without heat setting in between once that mesh is on and the black is dry underneath all of this I spray all three colors I spray my yellow first and then I spray my orange and my green and then I hit it again with yellow to blend it so yellow is my first and last color when I do fire colors it's just a I'm full of hints today and tips it's just I feel like uh, feel like talking a little bit this is a kaleidoscope this is uh, available on the website under a special the specialty line it's kaleidoscope crawl green and blue a lot of fun put some crystal prism eyes in there and you can see the the holographic in this dinger press on this s copper crawl green eyes something fun as per the customer this is all part of the same order right here and then we've got calico crappie this was requested on a deeper diver 6 to 12 and that's exactly what this is going to do this is going to run 10 to 12 feet maximum but you can you can run it a little bit higher than that if you're letting it float up and it does do that this is on one of those fat free shads this is a brand name repaint from a customer and these are also you guys have already seen that in the spray session these two this is the rest of that that we're going to go through real quick i'm not going to take a whole much more time whole yeah let's talk in complete sentences jen come on you can do it sunday morning so there's the calico crappie with red eyes cool pattern fun 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 we are left with all of these super spooks these are the five inch super spook you can see on the law stick i keep a law stick on the boats i keep a law stick on the kayak and ta-da there you go this is the arkansas crawl these are all customer requested patterns and you guys can do that if you guys want repaints or you see something in a pattern that you'd like on a bait that i'm not showing it on i'll do it because i can paint any pattern that i do on pretty much any hard bait including whopper ploppers um, a lot of, a lot of folks are going after this particular pattern just because it's a bright loud almost a fire tiger but this is just green and orange there's a couple different shades of green with the orange in the arkansas crawl pattern well this is going to get bit asked for both of my discus so once again rick everybody loves your patterns that you suggested if you have a suggestion that you want me to paint that I'm not doing, shoot me a comment. I will help you bring your next confidence lure to, to life. That's what I do. This is that red discus. And then the pigeon blood discus. Lots of fun on this. And these are on those head and super spooks cool colors and the electric float pro blue elect let's say that five times fast this is the electric pro <laughs> okay we're gonna try keeping this in one take but this is the electric pro blue there we go did it yay congratulations Jen you can speak And I did put the original eyes that came off of this spook. There's still some more over there because I did switch out three of the six that he requested uh, to red. Peacock, sick, uh, peacock bass have red eyes, as do the pigeon blood discus. But this is uh, a metallic paint. On a chrome bait 
This one was a red and gold chrome, so you can see that kind of popping underneath. Try not to blind you guys, but it's there. And that's it. You guys have seen the peacocks. I'm out of here. I've got some stuff I got to get done. And then tomorrow, my Monday, um, I'm going to try and sneak out. We're going to try. We're going to try. But all this stuff is going out today. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. It's the top of the week. So I will see you guys on the water. Happy casting. Have a great day. And it would be remiss of me not to say this. My thoughts and prayers go out to El Paso, Texas. My thoughts and prayers go out to Dayton, Ohio. Stop the madness, y'all. This has got to stop. Amen.